one of the questions i am frequently asked is around pii personally identifiable information and privacy in llm applications we have a framework called presidio from microsoft which is based on named entity recognition and regex patterns now we have a new language model uh, which is in the category of small models uh, because uh, its objective is only to identify pii not generate uh, text okay so it's a 278 million parameter model and it is able to detect uh, 17 types of pii with very high uh, model performance as you can see from here the precision recall and specificity all are above 98% in the past also there were couple of models but this model performance is really uh, a very high all right so it works in multiple languages uh, english spanish french uh, german italian and dutch and here we have those 17 types of uh, pii okay so most of them uh, related to the address the person uh, details uh, the uh, financial details uh, etc okay as you can see from here all right and then uh, they also show us the model performance across those 17 categories as you can see from here uh, 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 it's quite good all right now let's see how we use this model since it's a small size model uh, we can run it anywhere so before invoking the commercial or large language models we run our data through these small language models we detect and anonymize pii before sending the data to large language models all right okay so the model is hosted on hugging face uh, so uh, and it's free uh, so just start with uh, the transformers library and then import uh, the tokenizer as well as uh, the model or uh, the token classification uh, models okay so the model is called this pii rahna all right and load the tokenizer and then the model now this is just detecting if you have a cpu or gpu i ran this notebook on uh, collab uh, uh, t4 which has a gpu all right so here we are writing a function uh, which detect and anonymize the pii so it takes the text as an input and an optional parameter aggregate reduction i'll show you in a second what this does okay so just tokenize the input text and run it through the model okay so what we get what the way this model works is first it takes the input text it tokenize them and in general we have one word to one token but when we have these long words those are uh, in general broken into two tokens very long words uh, they, they they are even uh, broken into three tokens okay now for each token it identify if it belongs to any one of those 17 categories and it also uh, provide some uh, sort of uh, probability okay so here we are mapping those tokens are uh, back to the words okay and then so all this is uh, straight forward to understand uh, as i said it's just mapping those tokens are uh, back to the words and identifying which token slash words are pii or not and we have this another helper function what it is basically doing is uh, either we want this reduction what is called this aggregate level or okay probably it's easier to show the output now let's say this is our text okay now one downside with this model is the context length is not long it's only 256 so what that means is when we have large documents like books or large paragraphs etc we need to break that down into small paragraphs and we can uh, uh, run through the model uh, in a loop all right so for this given text as we can see here here we have the person name where the person lives uh, the full address 
as well as the phone number okay all of those are PII now if we don't do this aggregate reduction what this means is it's simply the output is uh, just the reducted now for some reason if we wanted to know what type of information is there then we can set it to false uh, so that we get the type for example here my name is what is being redacted is a given name and surname okay and then here we have building number which is being redacted streets city and uh, finally uh, the telephone number so this is a very easy short sentence and all uh, i guess some five or six six uh, informations are uh, accurately redacted okay so that's what uh, this variable uh, where is it yeah uh, this optional parameter is doing okay uh, that's all for this video thank you